Hello guys and here's a quick um, tip uh, in Fusion 360. So um, this is something that comes up uh, a little bit and, and I struggled with um, understanding when I first started off. Um, the difference between copy and paste, copy paste um, new um, and the difference in bodies and components. So if we have um, um, an object that we've created and you want to make a copy of it when it's a body, if you then edit the copy, it's its own independent body. But if you uh, do it the same with a component, then it's a clone. And anything you do to one will happen to the other. I'll show you what I mean here. So if we go ahead and um, let's just create a box. Like so. And we'll extrude that out. Right. So now we have a new body. And this is body one. And if we go to the uh, move tool and we drag this over here, see we can move it around, but we can also select the create copy. So let's just do that again, move, select create copy, and we drag this over here. Now it drags a copy out. Now this copy is called body two. These are two independent separate bodies and if I now drag this one up you'll see it's independent to the other one. However, if I turn body number one into a component you'll see we now have component one and body two. And then I do the same thing. Create a copy. Drag this out. Now, look what happens. If I edit my original component, it'll do the same to my copied component because this is now a clone of the original and it will continue to copy it. So again, if I add a fillet here, you'll see it adds it to both. Now this can be very useful if you've got multiple um, components that are all the same when you edit that one component, it's going to make a change everywhere. So let's say you've got a flange with some bolts in and the bolts are M5 bolts and you need to change it so that they are M8 bolts. When you change one, it will change all of them. And if you've modeled your design correctly using parametric modeling, check out my other video on that. Then when you change the whole size, it will change everywhere. So um, that basically is the difference between copying and pasting a body and copying and pasting a component. Now there is a way of doing it with a component without it being a clone and that goes something like this. So here we have component 1 1 and component 1 2. Copy. Now if you click down here and go to paste you're going to end up with component 1 3. Now is this going to be a clone or not? It is. See if we edit any one of these now, I've got a new one, you'll see it's copied everywhere. Now why is that? Because we have component 1, 1, 1, 2 and 1, 3. These are all actually the same. They are, this is clone number 2 of component 1. This is clone number 3 of component 1. So every time I change 1, it will be affected downstream everywhere. If I go though to copy and I go to my root object here and go to paste new, now you'll see its name has changed. This is component 21. Now component 21 means it is a different component. And if I edit this, you'll see it is now independent to the others and is no longer a clone. Okay? So that's the difference between um, copy and paste with a body and copy and paste or move and copy um, with a body and a component and the way that you can actually copy a component but make it independent from the others. So I hope this answers um, the questions that some of you may have about bodies, components, move and copy and uh, how to handle it. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.